how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm very excited because I'm partnering up with Ottawa Tourism and I'm going to be showing you a little bit more of Ottawa. Now obviously this is the perfect time to be exploring our own cities and have some staycations and and enjoy yourself and see what your city has to offer. So I'm really excited to be showing you some things that Ottawa has to offer. I know I get questions from a few of you from time to time saying you'd love to see more of the city. So this is the video for you. So I have currently checked into the Chateau Laurier Hotel, which is located right downtown. It's next to Parliament Hill. And it's honestly, in my opinion, it's one of the most beautiful hotels in the city. Well, I think it is the most beautiful hotel in the city. The outside of it looks just like a castle and I've heard from a few people um, from out of town and such that they think it looks like Hogwarts and you know what? I kind of agree with that. It has such a unique vibe and in the back there's also um, a big park, Majors Hill Park, which is one of my favorite parks in the city as well. It's huge. You get an amazing view of Parliament from behind, the Ottawa River, and you also get that view from behind of the Chateau Laurier. It's nice just to get out of your home environment for a little bit and, and take a little mini staycation or vacation. So in our room, we have a stunning room. So we got a big king size bed. We also have such a great view. So from the view, we can see Parliament. We can see Parliament Hill and all of the beautiful buildings around there. And yes, I am very excited to get started with the weekend here. So. I can't wait to bring you guys along because we have a lot of really fun things um, lined up to do. Alright, so we've just made it to Tavern on the Falls. We're gonna have some dinner and some drinks and catch the view. So once the sun goes down, they actually light up the falls, which I am I'm very excited to see. Cheers! Alright, should we explain what we got here? I got a tuna taco here and then this one is a veggie taco which I'm really excited to try. What did you get here? Uh, so this one's called the US of A. So it's like pickles, uh, fried onions and stuff on top. This one's Do You Want a Tijuana? So it's got like corn chips and I think queso and stuff. Yum. This one is, I can't remember the name of this one, but it's got like pulled pork, lots of stuff on there. This one looks almost like a like a taco in a hot dog. No, it's best of both worlds. Yeah. Good morning. So the first stop on our agenda today, we are going to get some brunch, obviously, because what is a weekend without brunch? Then afterwards, we have a few fun things planned. We're gonna be hitting up the Lansdowne Farmer's Market. So that's a big outdoor market that they have going on. And then um, after that, we'll be doing a little bit of antique shopping, some of my favorite shopping. So let's go. Brunch, we went to a spot called Jack's, which is located at McLeod and Bronson, and they do a really great brunch and they have a really cute patio set up so you can eat outside. I ordered myself an iced coffee and then I had some avocado toast with poached eggs on top and Kyle ordered himself some lemon blackberry pancakes, which were so good. So after brunch, we went to the Ottawa Farmer's Market at Lansdowne, and this is held every Sunday year round from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And they have things like lots of local fruits and veggies, food stands, baked goods, crafts, you name it. So here we stopped for some snacks. So this is garlic sauce and feta cheese, and it's really good. And we also stopped for some freshly squeezed lemonade, which was amazing. I honestly can't remember the last time I had fresh lemonade it was really good
after the market, we hit up some antique shops in Old Ottawa South. So there's actually a few antique shops that are all within walking distance there. So we just parked our car and and walked down the street into all of them and sort of just browsed around. I actually ended up finding a really cute little tray that I wanted to put on my bar top at home. So it has a nice little gold trim and then a mirror top on it. And I'll just insert a picture so you can see what it looks like. Okay, seriously, though, if you ever come to Ottawa or if you're from Ottawa, you have to try Mushu ice cream. So they have such good ice cream with vegan options and honestly one of the best waffle cones that I have ever had. So we just got some Mushu ice cream. I got the local strawberry flavor and the vegan Dalgona and coffee. What did you get here? It's like uh, already got, almost gone. I know, I've eaten most of it. Uh, vanilla Hawaiian? No, Hawaiian vanilla bean. And the bottom one's black currant and cream cheese. So we've just had a little rest time after a really busy day. Now we're about to head out for some dinner. So tonight I'm just keeping it um, kind of cool, kind of casual. A little mock neck top, some creamy shorts, brown bag, and some brown shoes to match. For dinner tonight, we decided on Side Door, which is located in a beautiful courtyard right at the Byward Market. So the courtyard is so pretty in the summertime because all of the patios are set up and there's little lights everywhere. So yeah, we went to Side Door and it has really tasty Asian inspired dishes. I got the Mapu tofu dish for dinner and Kyle got a few appetizers to have. So we got the calamari, the pork dumplings, the green papaya salad and some chicken wings. And obviously we have to get dessert. So we have mini donuts, one of each flavor, and a little coconut ice cream here. After dinner, we headed down the Rideau Locks and we ended up taking a boat tour on the Ottawa River, which was so fun. This was actually my first time doing this, so I really enjoyed myself. You get a spectacular view of Parliament from behind. You also get to see the waterfalls again from a different angle. And if you can spot the Tavern on the Falls restaurant up there, um, which we were at the night before, I definitely recommend going at sunset because you can see all of the buildings light up and it's just beautiful. So today is the last day of our little staycation here in Ottawa. We are just headed to Park Omega, which I'm very excited for because I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. And um, yeah, this morning was pretty chill. We just stayed in the room and had breakfast at the Chateau Laurier. I had avocado toast and the bread was like two inches thick. It was so fluffy and so delicious. And then Kyle just had a classic breakfast, so we just kind of chilled and had breakfast and now we are on our way to Park Omega so it's about an hour um, from the city and we're gonna go see a lot of animals. All right, so we just got a bunch of carrots, so we'll be able to feed the animals with these. And basically, it's kind of like a safari. So they come up to your window, and then you, you crack your window down a little bit, and you can feed them out of your window. So it's like a safari with all these um, North American animals. So we gotta get our carrots ready. Oh my God. And they're ready for a quick snack. Oh, they're snacking. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Oh, that makes oh. sense. Oh. Here you go. Yummy. Just munching. Hi, I'll give this one one. Oh, oh that one's real hungry. <laughs> There's a little pig there. A little wild boar. <laughs> Hi. Oh. <laughs> okay. The little baby. Here you go. Want some more? Yummy. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. 
Hi, buddy. Hello. 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 Quick lunch break for hot dog and poutine. And of course we have to get a caramel sundae for dessert. Yum. 